are you? I'm Paige. Like your bow tie. Thank you. You seem awfully young, Paige. Are you with an adult who's taking this class? No. Dr. Sturgis heard about my research on quantum chromodynamics at high temperatures and invited me to audit his course. Is that so? Yes. He's been super nice. <laughs> Interesting. Well, just so we're clear, he's my mentor, he's my Meemaw's boyfriend, and he had spaghetti and hot dogs at my house. The spaghetti goes on hot dogs. No. You realize this is a very advanced class. We'll be discussing deriving nuclear physics from the Quark model. Do you know if he'll be doing a full color optic calculation with matrix manipulations? I do not. Do you know how to differentiate under the integral sign? No. Well, do you know anything? I know you're in my spot. I'm 10. I'm 10 too. When's your birthday? February 26th. March 17th. And I'm the youngest person in this class. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, good. I see you two have met. I'm younger than him. How come you never mentioned she was coming to this class? I thought it would be a fun surprise. I don't like surprises. Neither do I. Then why did you do it? Some people like surprises. I love surprises. Did you enjoy this one? Yes. A 50% success rate, not bad. Let's get started. Not since sharing a uterus with my twin sister have I been so unhappy sitting next to someone. Sheldon? The release of emotions, Mr. Spock, is what keeps us healthy. Dr. McCoy was an idiot. Now, since we'll be spending a few hours together, I've created a list of activities to keep us occupied. We'll start with a tour of my room, then board games, and if time permits, you can look at and not touch my trains. Oh, my little pony. I love my little pony. That's my sister's, and it's not part of the tour. I share a room with my sister, too. <laughs> Super fun. You're wrong. Now, over here, we have my desk. This is my computer. That's my mouse. This is my printer. This is the paper that goes in the printer. This is a box of extra paper that also goes in the printer. And this is my signed picture of Professor Proton. Do you watch a show? No, I don't really like it. You don't? I think he's boring. Randy dumps everything down. <laughs> Come on, Colinar. Don't fail me now. And next on the tour, we have a lamp. We could play traditional chess, or if you're interested, we could play a variant with a new piece I invented. That sounds fun. What's a new piece? A wizard. The wizard cannot be taken, and at any point he can teleport and switch places with any other piece. Yes, but there's an obvious flaw. What flaw? Well, any time anyone is checkmated, they can suddenly have the wizard and their king switch places, so the game will never end. I knew that. You passed my test. You actually believe in the multiverse theory? Very much so. It's the most elegant interpretation of quantum mechanics. So you really think there are an infinite number of universes? Stephen Hawking believes it, so yes, I do. Well, if there are an infinite number of universes, I think that theory is dumb in all of them. <laughs> this is fun. I don't get to have discussions like this with kids at my school. Do you? No. Do you ever wish you were just like everyone else? Not at all. <laughs> Me neither. I love being smarter than everyone. <laughs> Me too. I started to think that Paige and I might have more in common than I thought. Maybe my mother was right. I really did just need to get to know her better. Checkmate. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Red alert. <laughs> Phaser, stand by to fire on my order. Guess that makes me the smartest. I don't know if 10-year-old Spock ever flipped a chessboard, but 10-year-old Sheldon sure did. Now, does anyone know what happens to quarks when we combine them to make mesons and baryons? Yes, Paige. We can ignore the particle masses at the individual quark level. Correct. 
You are really... He's jealous of you paying attention to her. That was correct, Paige. And Sheldon, is that a new bow tie? It is. Looking sharp. Thanks. That was a close one. As I was saying... Sheldon? Paige? I'm so happy to see you. Are you happy to see me? Not immediately. That's okay. I'm happy enough for both of us. All right, everybody, welcome. Glad to see we got so many people interested in radioactive decay. Well, hello. Hi. Hi. This is a nice surprise. I don't usually see young people at my lectures. I enjoyed your paper on accelerator mass spectrometry and wanted to find out more. Is that so? And you? I read this magazine. Uh-huh. It has puzzles, too. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to kick this off and tell us exactly what carbon dating is? 5,730 year half-life of carbon-14 is used as a geochronometer. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, carbon dating is how we figured out how old my grandmother is. <laughs> It was at this moment I learned I was not only brilliant, I was also hilarious. <laughs> For now, let's neglect changes in the isotopic ratio of the air over thousands of years. So this is pretty basic stuff. Yes. I'm bored. Let's get out of here. I can't. I told my dad I'd stay here until the end of the lecture. Okay. Yeah, baby. I'm leaving. In our case, the math yields approximately 48,000 years. I was most certainly not a baby. If anyone was a baby, it was she. Because people who call other people babies are the real babies. Wait up. <laughs> Caveman stuff. I love that. Where are you going? It's closed. I can read, baby. Just so you know, that won't work every time. This is oddly reminiscent of a dinner with my family. You're funny. I know. My family never eats dinner together. Why not? My dad always manages to come home from work after we're done. Hmm. My dad never misses a meal. Do you think Stone Age parents stayed together forever? They have to. There were no lawyers. <laughs> what? That was funny. Right. We've established I'm funny. Well, I think my parents are getting a divorce. Why? They fight all the time. About what? Mostly me. Hmm. That's too bad. I guess I'm lucky. Why? I'm the glue that holds our family together. What are you kids doing in there? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You look nice going out to dinner with your husband. Ugh, no. Girlfriends. Hi, Sheldon. Hello. What are you doing? Chemistry homework for extra credit. Cute. I did that last year. Paige! Missy! Oh, they're so sweet. Yeah. Life will suck that right out of them soon enough. Well, bye. Bye. You gotta meet my dolls. I told them all about you. <laughs> T, I did that last. Did you know that tea was discovered by accident? I didn't, but I don't know lots of stuff. The Emperor Shenong of China was boiling water in his garden, and a leaf from a tea tree fell into his pot. Tea come from trees? Where'd you think it comes from? The supermarket? <laughs> okay, pick a number. Three. One, two, three. Now pick a color. Pink. Duh. The name of your future pony is... Sparkle Sunshine. I would totally name it that. <laughs> Sheldon, do you want to have your fortune read? Absolutely not. And I cannot believe a person as smart as you is doing it. 
Why? It's fun. He doesn't know how to have fun. He's an old man. I'm not an old man. Oh, yeah? What's your favorite color? Khaki. Old man. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. Come inside and play with us. Don't invite him. This is a girl's fort, not an old man fort. I'm not an old man. Then come inside. Are you crazy? It's bedtime. Old man. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie's ankles together. So when he gets out of bed, he falls down. But he could get hurt. If we're lucky, life will not be a party to this. Oh, man. <laughs> That's when the bloodthirsty goat man, part goat, part man, crept up the sleeping children. <sighs> Sank his sharp little teeth into their necks. No. And drink their blood. No. Problem? Several. First of all, goats are herbivores. They don't eat meat, let alone drink blood. Maybe the half-man part drinks blood. Don't even get me started on the half-man stuff. Sheldon, it's just a fun, scary story. It's nonsense is what it is. Old man. I'm not an old man. I'm 10. More like 110. You know... I read that adults who had a stunted childhood often become social misfits and weirdos. You didn't read that. You're making it up, like your goat story. Psychology Magazine, February issue, 1988. Well, um, that doesn't make it true. Guess you'll find out when you're an adult. I guess I will. <laughs>